please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Prashant Talwalkar, the promoter, director and MD and Anand Gavande, the promoter of Talwalkar Lifestyles joins us now to talk about that. Um, a gentleman, morning to both of you. Uh, Anand, I want to start with you. You know, there's been so much confusion ever since you made this announcement. Um, uh, if uh, retail investors have been constantly writing to us, asking us about what really is going to get listed, what's going to be left behind, and the reason for this confusion has been because you listed the lifestyle business and you named it Better Value Fitness. Today, you listed the fitness business and named it Lifestyle. Once both would have gotten listed, that is now, you will have a name swap. Uh, why was there so much confusion? Good morning, Sonia, Lata. I think Anuj is also on the program. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking us in on the listing day. Yeah, I'll straight actually answer the question in two or three parts. It may take a couple of minutes sure. so that all the investors or non-investors and the ch news channel can get a clarification. Uh, as you know, we had one consolidated company, Tarvalka's Better Value Fitness, which went for a legal demerger about uh, 14 or 15 months back, November, December 2016. Uh, the process goes through a whole range of things like shareholders, creditors, NCLT. NCLT is like a high court, uh, Sonia. So when the NCLT wanted to pass its final order in February 2018, February 2018, they asked, they told us that the authority of the change of name is with ROC and not with them. Mm -hmm. So the, just for information for of shareholders and viewers, we had given the name change, Sonia. Mm -hmm to the NCLT people hmm. when it went to NCLT. And by the way, all of this has been regularly informed to stock exchanges by us. Hmm. So it's not as if any of this information has been with there because there is no uh, interest which the promoters, the company or any of us have in withholding this information. Hmm. By creating confusion, you only start decreasing the standards of corporate governance. Hmm. I do not think that we stand for that. So when the NCLT order was passed, the honorable judge said that this change of name can only happen when both the companies are together listed, which is as of today. Mm -hmm. So on Monday, we will be moving both the shareholders for the change of name. But coming back to the event in February, the moment we got the NCAT order, it was immediately downloaded on the BSC and NSC site. It was also put onto our site, Sonia. Mm -hmm. On mm -hmm. the day of delisting or on the day of demerger, which is 28 or 27 March 2018, there was further confusion because people felt that a company which continued to be listed is the gym company yeah. and not the lifestyle company. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. So two days before that, two days before that, Lata, we had given a notification to the exchange, which is BSC and NSC, which is available for all of the people to see, which specifically stated that the lifestyle company is a gym company and the gym company is a lifestyle company. On the first day of listing, because there was confusion, we were getting phone calls from shareholders, including from your channel. We put a further clarification that evening on a pro bono basis, saying that the lifestyle company, which is right now presently listed, or gym company is a lifestyle company, and the lifestyle company, which is now today listed, will become the gym, gym company. company. So this was done immediately after that. Post that, mm. just to continue the process, on 11th May, the results of the listed company okay were declared and when they were declared we put the 44 steps which were complied by us for the purpose of demerger stating each of these steps all the way so Lata and Anuj. so okay. we would like to confirm and clarify that there was no interest the promoters the company the management employee none of the people have any interest in creating any kind of disillusionment no promoter gets any uh, happiness out of creating a situation mm. of you know uncertainty in the no. marketplace if at all okay. we want people to know what's happening all right uh, you know uh, i could have just asked you whether you really anand had to go through all this at all mm -hmm. and whether uh, you know the unified stock was a fine way uh, to participate in your growth uh, but anyway no, that uh, i can come to your channel no, no, uh, that, can, that i can come no, to your let, studio let that wait. and chat with you no, further no no anand let that wait yes. because we are running out of time on the show sure uh, so i just want prashant Please. in to tell us you know the growth prospects of both units Please. Uh, what kind of uh, uh, you know uh, revenue growth can you project for both these channels for both the entities first of all uh, thank you very much uh, all of you and uh, i really appreciate the patience of all the investors waiting for this day. Uh, let me assure you that the, the growth which we have been 
doing for so long and so many years will definitely continue. This is a new opportunity given to us today, more so. And uh, I'm very, very optimistic that uh, as we have been opening 20 and 30 clubs every year, we will uh, we'll continue doing that process for sure. And uh, as you can see, that, that has always been our base uh, of so many verticals which has grown after that. So I don't think uh, there is any, there should be any doubt in anyone's mind. Uh, the growth and the, you have seen the past years are EBITDA and the uh, revenue reflections. Uh, I'm very gung-ho about what's going to come in the future. The future growth is sure, sure. going to be fabulous. Okay, Anant, uh, can you just leave us with some numbers? I mean, you know, because we have been trying to sort of uh, get through to you for a very long time. And now that we have you with us, for the gym sure. business that's listed, uh, what could the growth look like in FY19 and what will the financials be? Sure. Sure. So, Sonia, to start with, one is uh, I always enjoyed coming to your channel mm -hmm. and I had stated the day of listing I will be on your channel, which I am today. Okay. So, as far as we are concerned, the consolidated growth of the company till December was about 20, 22, 23 percent. Uh, the March quarter results, which is the entire year results of the gym company, uh, we will immediately on Monday or Tuesday put stock exchange notice and will declare the results immediately after that. Uh, we believe that the growth momentum for the current year will be in that range and as Prashant rightly said, uh, we have been opening about 30 to 50 gyms every year. We are the market leader in the gym category. Talwalka's brand is the number one brand. Power World brand is now the number two brand in India, which means the two top brands are available with us. So we believe that growth uh, of about 20-25% per annum, uh, ROC of between 16-19% to 19 over the next two years is what we would like to aim at. And the last and the most important thing is the net cash flow positive, which we are constantly guided in the gym company. Okay. Uh, you know, just one more question, Anant, on the point that you were making Please. earlier about the disclosures that you made to exchanges uh, repeatedly. Why did you not choose to come and talk to media about it? Because there's been significant confusion, wealth erosion as well. Uh, as you said, a lot of investors reached out to you. What was the reason for, uh, you know, lack of communication, apart from the, uh, j the disclosures that you made to the exchanges? Let me ask you a different question, Sonia. I mean, I have no problem coming with the channel. I'm on the channel today also, and I'm trying to answer the questions as candidly as possible. But when disclosures have been made to BSC and SC, and each and every shareholder or non-shareholder has access to that information otherwise, okay? Whenever anybody has called me, my company secretary, my CFO, Prashant, each and every phone call has been answered by us. Mm. If you can ask anybody who, whom you would know well, our answer is, when we come to media, we should be coming with something which is concrete and right. One of the company was unlisted and we did not want to be on the wrong end of compliances. As you know, we were having NCLT, we have SEBI, we have NSC and we have BSC. If we had done anything wrong in terms of compliances, it would have only delayed the process of demerger and listing further and created some complication which would have hurt the shareholders and promoters in the longer term. It some complication which would have hurt the shareholders and promoters in the longer term. That is the only reason and no other reason whatsoever because what we are stating as a fact today is all available on our website and BSC, NSC to see. So we are not stating we are doing it today. We have okay. done it on those those days, okay. Sonia and Lata. Okay, don't, uh, let's not use the word Talwalkar Fitness and Talwalkar Lifestyle because it's terribly confusing now since the names sure. will eventually get swapped. Absolutely, so just I agree. tell us how we the... Will, we will clear that confusion. No, no, yeah. no, no, don't get into it at all because that's, uh, you know, just repeating sure. ourselves. Just tell us what Please will be ahead. the revenue growth for each of these items. The j Let us call it the sure. gym business and the non-gym business. What will be the uh, revenue growth for each of them and what will be the debt sharing between the two? Yeah, so just to under, uh, explain to you, uh, one of the company's results are already in the public domain. The other will be in the public domain in the next 10 days. The debt has been split between the gym company and the lifestyle company as 70% and 30%. Okay, the revenue split will be 80% and 20%, but to get into specific figures, if last year we had done a profit after tax of about 66 crore, and assume that we grow at a particular percentage in the range of 20% for the current year, then the overall profit figure, Lata, which is 80 crore or thereabouts or 82 crore, will be split in the ratio of about 75% and 25% okay. between the gym company and the lifestyle company. Mm -hmm. So I'm being as clear as I can be. Okay. In the gym company, so that I add further, we expect the growth as Prashant rightly said, by setting up 30 to 40 gyms every year, 
but completely staying cash flow positive. Mm -hmm. In the lifestyle business, there are a lot of smaller businesses as you are aware of, like yoga, mm -hmm. like Zumba, like the David Lloyd Club, okay. All of those businesses combined, we may see a certain surge in revenue in the current year because some okay. of them are opening businesses and then it will steady up at about 25, 30%. 30%. Okay, so finally this 70-30 split that you said for the debt uh, between gym and lifestyle, mm -hmm. what's the absolute debt figure yes. at the moment? 500 crore. Okay. okay. Our right. debt equity ratio, uh, Sonia, is 0.7, is 0 0.65 is to 1. Okay. We are double rated. Okay. So, for... Oh, oh, right. Uh, actually, I'm out of time. Prashant, thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, with those thank details. Thank you both of uh, you and thanks all of you.